Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Designer. Today I'm going to show you how I built my screen printing table. If you've been following this channel for a little while, you'll know that I do screen printing, I do various other types of printmaking as well. Uh, this is my studio where I do all my printing. For a few years, I've been using a wooden setup. Uh, you can see that in a previous video at the top here. While it worked quite well, it was very limited in terms of the print size that I could do. So because it was a fixed wooden frame, I could only fit an A2 size screen in that wooden frame. Now, I've been meaning to upgrade this table for a few years now. Uh, and the reason being is that like you can see here, I've got an A4 screen here in a, in a portrait orientation. Because of the adjustable features of this table, and this is how traditional screen printing tables are built, these rails here, they can move to any distance and I can put the screen in any orientation and I can fit you know, any size screen I want on this table. So as you can see, it's nice and versatile and you might have noticed that it's made from aluminium extrusion. If you can weld and you can work with steel, then my old steel uh, box section is, is gonna be cheaper. Aluminium extrusion is expensive, but I had limited kind of machining capabilities in my house here. And the good thing about the extrusion is it's already got these kind of channels built into them. And that means that, you know, it makes it easy to make things that slide. And the whole point of this table is to be adjustable. So the fact that things can slide easily. So like for instance, you know, the clamps, they can slide easily, which means I can put any size screen that I want. Now this setup is slightly unique in that at the back here, I've got a sliding mechanism for this whole entire frame. So I'm limited in space in this room and I don't always screen print. So I wanted to, I wanted to be able to use the table for doing YouTube videos. I wanted to be able to do other bits of printmaking on it and use it just as a normal table. And obviously I, I don't really want this frame in the way because you know when I'm leaning on the table, it kind of gets in the way. So at the back here, I can bring this whole entire frame down. Obviously I have to take off these middle uh, rail sections and the outer frame will slide down so that then it is flush with the table. So I can use it just as a normal table. Now the original plan was to actually have, like the traditional tables, a, a counterweight system. Uh, you will see, usually they have big, weighted plates at the back of these tables. I didn't realize, but actually I would need a huge amount of weight at the back here. Uh, I think it was, you know, 50 or 60 kilograms plus. Now that was gonna be a bit of a, a pain to kind of build that amount of weight. And also I don't really feel that the, the sliding mechanism at the back here would have held that type of weight. So I've opted to use gas struts and you can see it in operation here if I just pull it up. So these are the gas struts. And actually I kind of prefer this setup now because one, I don't need to have the, the weights at the back. And two, it means that I can actually reduce the footprint of this table overall because now I don't need these bits of extrusion coming out where the weights were gonna hang off. So I can actually chop these off. I just wanna give one tip. Um, when I was ordering all the materials for this, I actually chose a 40 by 40 aluminum extrusion. There are cheaper options. I think it goes all the way down to 20 mil by 20 mil extrusion, which is obviously you know, half the size of this. Now I, I wanted to buy something big and bulky because I thought that that was gonna actually make sure that the frame was rigid. And obviously for registration and when you're printing, you want things to be as rigid as possible. You don't want things moving. Now to my horror, when I built the outer frame and I had it all set up, it could easily uh, move left and right and it was not stable at all. It's only when I clamped in these middle rails and clamped it into a frame that the whole thing become really sturdy and you know you can't move it left or right, it doesn't kind of skew or anything like that. So really I don't think I needed to buy a such big beefy aluminium extrusion. I probably could have gone with a smaller and cheaper size. I would have probably used 30 by 30. I think that will be sufficient enough. So I'm gonna show you the build now. There's not too much else to say. Um, if anyone wants the 3D printed files for these knobs, I can put it on Thingiverse and that's really about it. There's not really too much to this.
So hopefully you have enjoyed the build of this. Uh, this has been a few months in, in the works for me during COVID, but I'm really happy to have got this built. It works really nicely and it certainly does make printing a much more enjoyable experience. If you like screen printing, printmaking, DIY, be sure to uh, subscribe. I've got a playlist of all other screen printing stuff and you can also see some of the, uh, the art that I make using screen printing in some of the playlists on my channel. But that is it for now. I'll catch you later.